because the market's changing all the time, especially in today's market. So what, you know, what might not have worked for you before is now working, or what had worked for you before is now not working. Um, and, you know, yeah, and so, or, or I don't want to do that, or it's not for me. Like, really be careful with, with hearing that a lot of time, uh, especially for some of you that, you know, that have done a deal or two, um, or had some kind of success, you some of these things start to kick in. It's, it's your, um, you know, um, I don't know who said this initially, but I've learned about this uh, through T. Hoff Eckert about you know your 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 income thermostat, right? Uh, so it's like just like a thermostat. If you set it up, if you set it to seventy-five, right? What happens when when it gets too hot? And you know, and temperature goes up. Right, the AC kicks in, brings the temperature down. Right. Well, what happens when it gets too cold? Right, the heater kicks in and brings the temperature back up. So, so, so if you look at you know, if you look at your income, chances are like the the income that you have now, it's about the same income you've had for the last you know, three, four, five years. Right depending on how old you are, how long you've been in your career, but it's like your income has been pretty consistent. Right? That's your thermostat. And so when you have some, when you have some success um, above what you normally have, you're, you know, like, you, I mean, your, your, yeah, your, you know, your body will start, you know, your thermostat will start to kick in and, and you start to sabotage yourself uh, to, keep, to, to get your income back down. Um, and, and like you know, I yeah, yeah, I came here like literally with nothing, and so I've learned to make money, and and, and I know like at every level like I hit those, boom boom, and then yeah, and and then they sink you back down, and then until you know you do something different to to get you, um, it's that's it, just the way it works, right? So you have to be really careful with that. So. You really gotta come. The way Steve Jobs says it, you know, it's like stay young, stay fool, like stay foolish. Right? You gotta really look at this business from a beginner's eyes. It's like you know what? I don't know anything. Right? I'm gonna try everything. It's like let me try this. Let me try that. Um, you'll be a lot more successful doing it that way. Um, and you know, um, yeah, you know, don't stay stuck. Like any time that you, you know, any time that you, you, you're lost. That you're disempowered, you know. Reach out to us, okay? Uh, like, we'll, I mean, that's why we like, you know, reach out to 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 you know me, to AC, to George, Uvia, someone in the group. Like, that's why we're here as a team to to help you. And it's not just our group; it's like a whole your whole family here. You know, it's all there's tons of resource here. Um, you know, we I mean, we we all have stuff in our life, right? I mean, that's just how life is. Life is just a uh, you know, a bunch of fun stuff that happens. Uh, we have to deal with it, and so you know, don't yeah, don't get you know, don't get stuck in in like being alone. And uh, um, <clears throat> yeah, so you know, if you anytime you find yourself not in action toward you know, not not being in action to you know, in your business, make sure you reach out to somebody. Okay. Um, all right, the second biggest tip for you is you know, plan your work and work your plan, okay? Um, you, you know, I gave you a generic plan for today. If, if it's not a million dollars that you want, if it's 100,000, you just scale that down accordingly to whatever your goal is. If it's 500,000, whatever that is, you just scale it down, right? So now you have a basic plan to go based on, and now start to work on that plan, okay? Um, yeah. You know, use use a calendar. You know, it's just calendar is just a great thing to you know to have things in existence. Right? They say that like when you think of something, if you don't write it down, you don't take some kind of action, you lose it within thirty seconds. So you know, so so yeah, so have you know, like just like what Jason does, like every Thursday is marketing day. That's right. Great idea. You know, so you can do that. You know, you can. Um, Adopt that as, as put that in your calendar. Like every Thursday is your marketing day, right? So that that's going to be the prosperity uh, 
uh, marketing days, those days, right? We all go on marketing, and then the sellers all get a sample. <laughs> <laughs> how many of y'all have been on tour on Sunday right now? Sunday. 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 But how many times you've gone out to a seller and you've seen like your postcard with everybody else's postcard? It's all the same stuff, and you're, and then I always ask them. Why'd, I, why'd you call me? And they're like, well, you were the last postcard we got. And it's like, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes they're like, you're the first one that I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. you're the first yeah. one. Especially yeah. right yeah. now, we're bombarded with postcards. Right. Yeah, yeah and, and this is why like, when you go to different lists, and this is why when you venture out beyond that, you know, there's, you have, so you have that four by six postcards, and then you have the six by nine postcards, which is a little, costs a little bit more. But it, you stand out because you're, you know, much bigger postcard, right? Um, you know, and then you have the yellow letter. That's why when when it's a smaller list, you want to go, you you, you want to go deeper with them uh, than than just the uh, than just the postcards. With the yellow letter. Do you want to send the list to a service that sends out yellow letters, or do you want to like do it yourself? And um, y yeah, well, I don't recommend you do anything yourself for sure. But uh, yeah, you can send out to a service like that or. Uh, like the same mail house now, you can teach them. Um, what what my mail house did was, yeah, they they just um, they use a yellow uh, yellow paper and just printed the line and the and the print on it, so it looks like a yellow letter, mm -hmm. but it was just but you know it was just a yellow paper and everything else was printed. Mm -hmm. So you send them the the Excel list and then you send them the template of what you want, like the JPEG, and then they print it with the lines and all that. Right. Okay. Yeah. I think I might have some, uh, but yeah. And they'll do the envelope. Like you, you, can you uh, in the in the uh, virtual messaging binder, like there, there's a yellow letter template. Get that. Uh, if there's a check, can you get the check one too? Thank you. Or the post-it notes. Um, one of the. Whatever. Yes. One of the um, types of mailings that you can ultimately do is what's called bulky mail, where. You send something that's, that's that's bulky. One of one of the best marketing pieces I ever saw was uh, I got a little bitty box, a little cardboard box. When I opened it up, there was a little bitty trash can in there, a tin can trash can. When I opened that up, there was a yellow letter crumpled up. When I opened the yellow letter, because I, you know, I'm now I they've got me hooked. <laughs> By the time I got to that, my my they had grabbed my attention. And the yellow letter said, don't throw me away again. I'm important. Mm -hmm. Ron McGrand uh, said that. I don't know if you guys know who he is. But yeah. Now, that was an expensive marketing piece, and it sure yeah. caught my attention. So, so if you can see here, it's, you know, it's actually yellow paper, and all the lines are printed. And the whole writing is printed. Wow. So it looks just like a yellow letter, but it's not. not even and this is the Versa checks that I was talking about. You know, the business checks. Notice it's all zeros now. Would you want to use your business name? Huh? Would you want to use your business name? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, you know, on, on the on the number ten envelope, they, they can see where it says "Pay to do order" and their name on it. So they're like, "Wow, I got a check." Do right? you ever guys ever get checks from dealers? Oh, yeah, all the time, right? Yeah. So these checks. Yeah. You have to read the back where it says to endorse it, or a lot of. Those companies uh, send if you endorse if you endorse and cash this check, then you're signing up for some stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. Use a calendar. Use a to-do list. Make sure you work your plan. Okay. And uh, yeah, like you know, find someone holding you. I I, I just read uh, read the statistics. It's crazy. Uh, so this website, sticks.com, if you know you guys, uh, S-T-I-K-K. -K, what is it? Sticks. Sticks.com with the double K is not the C. Well, the, the professor that started that, that founded that website, um, he, he did, a, he did uh, studies on research on like, you know, people uh, like declaring and then holding, you know, and then like having someone holding them accountable to Sticks up. Sticks.com is basically you declare a goal and then you you put up something at stake. Like let's say you know you're gonna donate a thousand dollars to to like a charity that you hate if you don't do that. Right? You like you're like I'm gonna lose 20 pounds in 30 days. If I don't do that, I'm gonna donate a thousand dollars to whatever like charity that you hate. Right? Um, 
And they said that, you know, um, um, accountability, like, you know, takes, uh, accountability takes, takes your, your, like, your, your, um, your chance of achieving your goals, like, up, like, much higher than without accountability. Like, a person, another person are holding you accountable. And then if you add the, you know, he called it, the reason why it's called sticks is like a carrot, right? You, when you add that, like, if I don't do it, this is what it's going to cost me. Uh, you know, having to like you know, give donate to this charity I don't want that I'm against. It <laughs> takes it up from you know, 33 percent chance with accountability, a 33 percent chance of, of achieving that goal to 60 percent chance of achieving the goal, just adding that extra care. You know? yeah. Um, yeah, and so 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 you know, yeah, like. Having the team hold you accountable, like tell Jason said, hey, I'm gonna call you on Thursday, <laughs> make sure you do your marketing, that's great, yeah, right? And, you know. I think you get beatings Friday if it didn't get done. You're just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so like if Hugo really wants to get it done, he's gonna say, look, you know, any week I don't get it done, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, Whatever. Run naked. Run naked. <laughs> yeah. I was you actually going to say, you might like that. <laughs> <laughs> you might like that. So. <laughs> I was going to say, pick up a bar tab. But, <laughs> but yeah. Like, Jason would run that. Yeah, I think I'd take Run that. naked at home by Houston. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, always, the, the next tip for you is always, always be marketing. Okay. Uh, you know, make sure. It's extremely important that you always have leads coming in, no matter what. It's like you know whether you know whether you know, you're having a baby or somebody in your family pass away. Like no matter what, the marketing has to always go out, okay? Because that's the only way you're gonna keep get, keep the leads consistent. Um, and just trust that if you're mailing to the list that we're teaching you to mail, you know, just trust that like you're gonna make your money back and more. You just like just gotta put your face in it and you know and trust in the process. You know, yeah. Sometimes it might be a little rough start, but you know, it's like it's just like you know Ken and um, <laughs> Ken and Gene, right? They got a really rough you know four month start to where like five deals. Um, yeah, five deals fall through. Yeah, five deals fall through. You know, it's like you know yeah. it, it happens. Yeah, we got three deals right now. To close. Well, yeah. We have three deals lined up. And yeah, and so you know, if they had close. quit after the third or fourth deal, they wouldn't see the other deals, right? And then you have Gabe came in, and now he's already got a really good deal, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just sometimes it happens like that, okay? Uh, and you just gotta believe in it, and, and you know, yeah, keep on at it. And like I said, you know, fifteen hundred dollars per deal. So whatever number or like whatever your income goal is, just make sure you like that's the money you're committed to. You know, if you have to if you have to pawn your holly, <laughs> if you have to do whatever you need to do, like to come up with that money for your marketing, do it because it's gonna pay you back and buy you many more hollies. Um, so so yeah. Uh, you know, and if you don't have money uh, for marketing, you know, borrow some, put it on your credit card. Um, you know, work out like uh, my mailing house that I used to uh, used to do. This this new mailing house won't allow us to do it th the way that I used to have it. But I used to have a net thirty, so I sent all my marketing oh. out, and I don't I don't have to pay for it until thirty days later. When you make your money. I make my money back. <laughs> so like I mean, it was awesome, you know. But it, it didn't start out that way because I, I started spending a lot of money with them. So like, okay, well, we'll let you do that. Uh, but like this, this company that we have now, the uh, Mail Services of Houston, uh, they will, they, they will um, you know, let us do the Net30, very similar to Net30, on the printing, just not on the postage. Uh, the postage we have to pay within how many days? No, you have to pay the day it goes out. The day that goes out, you pay for the postage and then, you know, for the printing and stuff. So at least some of it is safe. Um, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, uh, so to end that, I want to share with you, you know, this, this, uh, this, uh, this, um, the goose that lays the golden egg story, right? And, um, uh, you know, how, uh, how many of you guys, like, heard, or I'm sure you all heard of this story, or at least you can remember it, right? But, you know, there's this farmer, he was very poor, um, 
and you know, yeah, he was extremely poor, and and um, you know, he uh, you know, he, he was down to like starving, uh, don't have any food to eat. So he went, you know, he went hunting, trying to look for food to eat, and he saw this duck. I mean, this goose. Uh, and you know he's he's about to kill his goose, and the goose uh, spoke up and said, "Farmer, farmer, don't kill me. Uh, if you take me home and give me water, give me something you know to eat, you know I'll you know I'll give you something that will you know that will continue to feed you for the rest of your life." And so the the, the farmer took this goose home. You know it's like you know, they thought he thought that was kind of amusing, right? Uh, a goose that speaks. So he took it home and gave it some water, and gave it some food. Sure enough. You know, the next morning the goose laid him a golden egg. Um, so, so he 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 you know he took that egg, went to the market, and bought you know bought food with it, bought clothes. So you know, and it, and so he got full and he came home. Um, and you know, and then um, and then and then he thought to himself, it's like it's like you know, it, yeah, um, um, he, you know. So that happens for a few times, and he said, you know. Well, you know, since this, you know, since this, uh, this goose he will keep keep giving me money. Well, I can spend all my money, right? So he spent all his money, and then next thing you know, he doesn't have any uh, money for food left to even feed the goose. So the goose died, and you know, his 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 golden egg stops. So the moral of the story is, wholesalers do this all the time. They make money, and they spend all the money. They don't reinvest any money back into the marketing. And they wonder why they don't have any more deals coming in. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it's extremely, extremely important that you reinvest you know, at a minimum 15% back into your marketing. 20% is a good number. Okay? So whatever you make, if you make 10 grand, put 20% back in your marketing. And, like, and, and that's, just, that's just money that you don't, you know, you don't mess with. Okay, no matter what happens. If you need you know you need money for surgery, you don't touch your marketing money. You touch anything else, it's not your marketing <laughs> money. Right? If your girlfriend wants to get married, it's like, hey honey, I, I love you, I'll marry you, just can't touch your money. <laughs> that's off limit. Um, so that's you know, uh, we'll end with that. You have any questions? Is today a good good workshop? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. So yeah, um, we'll be posting this video up and this uh, this uh, mind map up for you guys. So, so Tim, when you were at the at your largest, how many folks did you have working for you just on the?